All right, guys, uh, this is the Hunter Call of the Wild. I want to do something a little different today. We're going to go on a little hunting trip. I haven't played this game in over a year, but I got two new maps for it for four bucks a piece. And we are going to do the Rancho del Arroyo map. And we're going to start at La Faldo del Rio. And we're just going to take a hike down and try to unlock one of the, the towers. So on this map, we should see game birds, there should be turkey, there should be pheasants, uh, there are white-tailed deer, uh, bighorn sheep, I think there's pronghorn, coyotes, foxes, and what I'm really interested in is the turkeys. It's what I'm, I'd like to find. I, <laughs> like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. So that's the gear that I've brought today is to shoot uh, game birds. I have a big handgun and I have a rifle for shooting deer. It's usually what I like to carry is three weapons, a big game, a medium game and a small game rifle. I have not played this game in over a year. So now they've done some things in this game since I last played it, that have kind of made it more interesting. Um, we can actually paint all of our guns now. You can hand paint, to pick different colors and schemes for any rifles that you own, which is kind of cool. Nice little customization. Uh, they're constantly adding the things you can do to this game. This game is from 2017. One of my most played games. I'm over 500 hours put into this game. And that's without me having played it in the last year. And there goes a pheasant. Too far away to shoot. And I've, I've put a couple hours into this map and I really like, I have to say, this makes me feel like I'm walking in the Arizona desert playing this map. I'm quite familiar with the Rio Rico area, Arizona. And to be able to play this on a computer hunting sim. I'm intrigued. And uh, the other night I was sitting here watching some of my old videos. I was going through the playlists and I came across my Hunter series, which I did on this game a couple years ago. And I started watching them and I actually enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed the videos myself. I know they didn't do well on the channel. We didn't get a lot of views, but if you're into hunting and you've never heard of this game, if you live under a rock, Hunter Call of the Wild, you can get the base game now and I think all of the maps for about 35 bucks. You know, over the last five years of me playing this game and buying maps separately, uh, I think I paid about $8 a map, usually. I think I own a dozen maps. You know, so you're looking at 120 bucks there in maps. And it paid 50 or 60 bucks for the game when it came out. So, definitely one of my all-time favorite hunting games. I have been playing uh, The Way of the Hunter, which is a 2022 game that just came out. And I've got to tell you guys, I, I'm 60 hours into that game. I still prefer Hunter Call of the Wild. There's something about this game that the beauty, the graphics are amazing. They've ironed out a lot of the bugs after five years. They've listened to people. They've just made this probably the best hunting experience you can get. Uh, and you can get this for Xbox and PlayStation as well. And what we're doing today is to unlock the maps um, all of the features on the maps, places that you can teleport to, you have to go to the towers. And when you unlock a tower, it then shows you where the campsites are that you can go. And there, those campsites you can sleep at, get new ammunition, buy rifles. There's a store, basically, at each camp. So what we're going to do today is we're just walking towards 
you know, that yellow marker off in the distance is one of those towers that I need to unlock. So this hunting rifle that I've got here is custom painted, but it is the Solokin MN 1890. So it's a Russian hunting rifle. And I just like the way this one sounds when I shoot it. So, and I've actually, I mean, like I say, in 500 hours of this game, I've shot a lot of game with a, a lot of the rifles, but this is ah, it's one of my favorite. They have changed the game in the last year. The animals move differently now. So they move a lot more. Even, you know, even if you haven't shot and they don't know you're there, they don't just walk in straight lines. They zigzag more. They move around more. They've made the game a little bit harder. So as we get closer to the tower, we see some feed zones. I always click on them. Just so they're unlocked on your map. Oh, look right there, right hand side. A rabbit. Don't ask me how I missed that. Oh, we got that one. <laughs> got that one. It's a whole herd of them. Don't forget to reload people, that's important. Hey, gold trophy. Okay, so I will actually uh, taxidermize gold trophies, except that one. Cost you money to uh, turn those into mounts. And for little things like rabbits and stuff, I'd rather just make money than spend money. But there we go. There's a few kills to get us started and the, the tower is right there. We're pretty close now. So you have to climb up to all of these towers. There's probably a dozen per map. And when you unlock them like this, it then puts outposts and you know, interesting spots on the map for you to go check out. So we're just going to move on to the next tower and unlock it. Okay, so we're just going to make our way towards the next tower. something calling down below us here. I find the vegetation on this map very thick. It's very hard to see game here and that's fine. It makes it a little more challenging. Some maps are more open, they're easier. But as you guys can see there is no way to see the animals that are calling below us here. Just kind of make our way slowly and see if we can get a better vantage where we can see maybe an animal below us. There he is. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a mule deer or a whitetail but we hit them. You know, so a year and a half off from this game, my reflexes aren't that bad. 
And we, we at least got a shot off on him. We hit him. There's some blood. Non-vital organ hit. Hmm. Well, I can see there's the deer already. He's, he didn't go very far. Okay, let's check this out, see what it is. He's caught up in the cactus here. Oh, not a bad rack. Whitetail. All right. Now, we got penalized because we didn't hit a vital organ. And it's only silver, so I do not mount anything that's less than a gold or a diamond. So this guy is just going to be some money in our pocket. 572 cash. And here we are at the outpost. So we've got to unlock this so that we can teleport back here. This is kind of how you open up all the maps. You explore all of the viewing towers and then you unlock all of the maps. We've got mule deer calling right here at the outpost. After five years, they've pretty much worked out, I'd say 85% of the issues with this game. There's always new things popping up, problems, right? When they make a new map and things like that, but the tracking works now, the maps work. You have a tent system so that you can carry a tent with you, drop the tent, anywhere you want and have access to the store, um, sleeping, any of your you know, ammunition or gun changes, everything's right there because you can choose to carry a tent with you. And you can save your game. You know, So wherever you drop a tent, that's where you're gonna start again. The original problem with this game was that you could only you know, go to the outpost and start from an outpost. So they resolved that with the tent system. Um, they also gave us four wheelers to ride. So these maps are huge, guys. It, would, it literally takes hours to run across a single map. You know, I'll give a couple more calls, a couple more minutes. If we don't see this guy, we're going to move on. The trick here is to slow down as well. Okay, so it's a white tail. And when they're giving a warning call, that means they're pretty close. The wind is in our face. So we're going to actually get down and we're going to crawl, which is going to make the least amount of noise. So we should be able to get closer to this guy without spooking him. And on this map, that's going to be vital because I can't really see even 100 yards. There he is. Oh, a female too. Oh, that might have been a little bit high of a shot. I should have waited till I could see a little more. I'm pretty sure that was high in the shoulder. Yeah, look at that blood. Dang it. <laughs> no organs hit. Uh, that means we're going to be tracking them for a while. Okay, we're getting close. There he is now, I can actually see the body. That was almost 10 minutes of tracking. Make sure you get a good shot on these guys. You're better to wait that extra three seconds. Uh, bronze, again, we were penalized because we didn't hit a vital organ. $493 in cash. Did hear a uh, bobcat. There, there he is. Nice, one shot, one kill. So I guess, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or not, but there are bobcats on this map as well.
I always make sure I carry a predator call with me so we can uh, call in coyotes, bobcats, bears. Nice, look at that. Mexican bobcat. Too bad it's only a silver. And nope, that was it unfortunately guys. Uh, straight run, not very far. The outpost was only 300 meters from that tower, so. I will show you guys though, we unlocked this outpost and then if I go back to the map, I'll show you guys where we started. It was way back here at the tent. So that's how far we went today in an hour and a half. You know, there's the towers and the outposts that we unlocked. And what we can do now at this point is we fast travel back to where we left the tent and we can pick the tent up. And then we can fast travel back to this outpost and start our next session right here from this outpost. So. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me and checking out this new map. And we will definitely be playing. I've got the Mississippi map to check out as well. So comment below, guys. I know it's winter. We got to do some different stuff. Minus 25 outside today. And I don't mind doing a little bit of hunting. Thanks for joining.